video, I'm going to teach you everything you guys need to know about Shiny Hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's just dive in and talk about all the different methods that you can use to get Shiny Pokemon in the brand new games. The first thing we're going to look at is actually Sabuna underscore Switch putting out the data mine Shiny Hunting rates. There's a few different methods in this video that I'm going to cover and you can use the chapters in the description below to see exactly what they are. But basically, our base Shiny chance is 1 in 4,000. You've got a couple different things that you can do to increase that chance. You can utilize Outbreaks, which are back from Pokemon Legends Arceus, that will increase your chances pretty significantly based on the number of Pokemon you've cleared. You can also use something called Sparkling Power, which is created by eating sandwiches that you can actually boost your Shiny chances even further. From there, you can get the Shiny Charm in the game, of course, which will always increase your Shiny chances as well. There's a handful of different methods, like encountering Pokemon, Outbreak methods, utilizing Terra Raid battles, as well as hatching eggs and simply wandering in the around the map. And I'm going to break down every single one of those methods right here, right now. One of the best ways you can approach Shiny Hunting in this game is to have the Shiny Hunt app. You can download the Shiny Hunt app for free right now on both iOS and Android devices, as well as use it on the web browser. You can have access to all the Shiny Guides, the ability to track your progress, and an easy way to share your collection with your friends. So don't forget to download the Shiny app available right now for free on iOS and Android devices. Just check the link in the description below. So we're gonna rattle off a few quick tips for Shiny Hunting in this game. Simply put, you can't Shiny Hunt for your starter. You can't Shiny Hunt for the four legendary Pokemon. You can't Shiny Hunt for Karaiden and Maraiden. These are all locked Shinies. Shiny Pokemon in the overworld do not make a sound until you encounter them, which means you could be running around and not even know Shinies are popping up. So it's imperative that you know what every single Shiny looks like. If you want to get familiar with the new Shiny Pokemon of the game, I have a video right here you can find in the description below that's going to tell you all the Shiny forms for all the new Pokemon in the Paldea region. False Wipe is a nice and handy tool that you can get after you capture 30 Pokemon registered in your Pokedex. Jock in the biology class in school is going to give it to you. Otherwise, just get a Scyther. It learns it as its level up move pool. It's really easy to use and it'll work as a full swiper in case you find a shiny and need to catch it. Speaking of that, I recommend turning off auto save. But one of the nice things is if a shiny does pop up, you can simply save in front of it. If you fail it, you can simply restart and then ultimately catch it. If you wander too far from a shiny, it can actually despawn. So just be careful there. If you use the let's go auto battle feature, you will not kill shinies. They refuse to battle with them. So it's a safe functionality. You never have to worry about that. If you're doing multiplayer with other people, people can come into your world and they can actually steal your shinies. So watch out who you invite to your world. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the sandwich boost. You can use two Mystica herbs, which are found as a drop from five star raids after you become a champion. So once you kind of beat the main part of the game, you can do these five star raids. They're pretty tough. And ultimately you need two Mystica herbs. It doesn't really matter which ones. The drop rate, I'm not exactly sure on at this point, but I can tell you I got two out of like eight raids. So maybe 20%, 10%, somewhere in there probably. Obviously, you can use your save and save points to utilize these sandwich materials at different times. And we've got this really handy chart here, which is going to tell you exactly what you want to do with your Mystic Herbs. Based on the ingredient that you pair with the Mystic Herbs, you can actually change the powers that you have to increase the encounters of specific types of Pokemon. So if you want to hunt for a specific Pokemon, like let's say you want to hunt for a Shiny Scyther, you can use the Cherry Tomatoes with two Mystica Herbs to create the sandwich that you want, which is also ultimately going to increase your encounters for Bug-type Pokemon and ultimately increase your Shiny Rate with the new Shiny Power 3, or Sparkling Power 3, rather. Be sure to screenshot this video right now to grab this chart on your phone, or I'll actually put a link in the description too if you just want to download it there. The sandwiches last for 30 minutes, and they give you those Sparkling Powers, and you can press right on the D-pad to view your boost at any given time. Now getting into the actual methods, we've got the Outbreak method as I talked about earlier in the video. Outbreaks are going to spawn on your map and they're going to be denoted by a question mark icon. If you didn't register the Pokemon or it'll show the Pokemon's icon with a bit of a glow behind it. That's how you know there's a mass outbreak. You have the flexibility of actually time skipping one day if you don't like the outbreaks you have to find new outbreaks. It's best to farm these outbreaks by using the let's go mechanic just because there's so many Pokemon that are spawning. I'm not even kidding. We're talking like 60 to 100 Pokemon. And as you can tell from the chart, your odds increase to the max level when you've cleared 60 of those Pokemon. So if you've cleared 60 Pokemon and you have sparkling power, you have a roughly one in 700 chance to find a shiny. With the shine charm, that actually goes all the way down to one in 512. Needless to say, this is a very effective shiny hunting method, and with Let's Go, you can move pretty quickly and find shinies very easily in the game. And just a reminder, Let's Go will not faint your shinies, so that's a safe bet. Lastly, shoutouts to Anubis again. Once you clear at least 60 Pokemon in your outbreak, you can actually simply despawn and respawn all of those Pokemon in the outbreak until you get a shiny. You can just open up a picnic and then leave the picnic, and it's actually going to respawn those Pokemon and keep that outbreak alive at that 60 boost. So 
pretty cool. Uh, here's a little clip from Sabuna actually utilizing that mechanic to respawn and ultimately get a shiny Venom off. So pretty sweet stuff. From there, you have the opportunity to use Masuda Method and breed two Pokemon together in the picnic functionality. Masuda Method is something that came in Pokemon many, many years ago that involves breeding two Pokemon from different language games together. Oftentimes you'll hear people refer to a foreign ditto, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a ditto. It just has to be two Pokemon from different language games that are compatible. It seems that you can collect up to 10 eggs at a time and you can utilize things like egg power to get eggs to hatch faster and show up quicker and so on and so forth. Terra Raid Dens also have a chance to be shiny, but they're not boosted by any sort of boost. So ultimately you just show up to the Terra Raid Den as the den is generated before you go into it, it's determined. So you can actually save before each raid. And then if you find a shiny, you can restart your game and invite your friends to it and pass around those shinies with no problem. And last but certainly not least, you have the flexibility to simply wander around in this game. I think this game is probably the best for just random encounter shinies. Throw on one of those powers, sparkling powers from the sandwich and just wander around the game and just have fun for 30 minutes and see what you can find. If not, reset and do it again. Seems like one of the best ways to get shinies that we've ever had. That's a shiny Metatite! My first shiny in the game! My first shiny in the game is right there! Come back! There it is! My first shiny in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is a shiny Metatite! <laughs> Yo, that's actually wild. That's actually wild, man. Uh, not what I expected. Not what I expected, man, but I'll take it. I kind of like how in this game you just don't even know if it's a shiny. I have to actually be really careful because if I get him too low, uh, I could fail him. Let's not even mess around. Let's just start chucking Ultra Ball. Actually, what would look good? Repeat Ball would look good. Timer Ball maybe. Ooh, this is a big deal. This is my first ever shiny in this game. Let's just throw an Ultra Ball and see what happens. I'm afraid he's going to high jump kick and miss. And then I fail him. I don't want to fail him. Is that enough? My first shiny. Metatite! Now, obviously, I'm not gonna use it because it's not a bug type, but I'll take it. That's cool. My first shiny in the game. I like to name him Blueberry, too, because that's the, uh, you know, one of the evolves. That's actually so funny, man. I'm just walking around training up some Pokemon, and your boy finds a random encounter shiny Metatite. You love to see it. I was surprised that it's taking me this long to find one. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like I spent a long time playing this game so far. And I'm actually a little surprised that it took me that long to find one. But I'm not going to complain, Shiny Metatite. As soon as I saw the red, I'm like, wait a minute. That's pretty interesting. So that's pretty much that. That covers all the different things that you can do to find Shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Just be sure to download the Shiny Hub app available for free right now. You can check the link in the description, download it, and you can save your collection on there. You can keep track of your hunts find odds, and much, much more. It's really awesome. We put a lot of time and effort into updating it for the launch of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I hope everyone who's been using it is excited about that, and everyone who's new loves the app. It's phenomenal. So thank you guys so much. Otherwise, I wish you the best on finding shinies. I hope you have plenty of luck. Hit that like button if this video helped, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.